Hey guys, I'm Jay Newpre, and today I'm going to show you some of the quote unquote impossible shots in pool uh, and how to shoot them. So, this right here, I'm not going to spend too long on this because I go over this a lot, uh, but I feel like it really deserves to be in this video. So, nine is on the point, does not cut into the side pocket. So, what we're going to have to do is collapse this point right here. A lot of people don't know what a pool table is made of. So this is slate right here. This hard, that hard part is slate. But you hear how this doesn't sound that hard? That's because this is rubber. Now, as you know, rubber bends. See, I can push on that and it'll collapse inward. So that's exactly what we're going to do with this point in that ball. We're going to collapse that point inward so this nine ball pushes through that ball pushes through that point. Now sometimes it'll look exactly like that. Uh, so that is collapsing that point. Uh, you have to hit it fairly hard. Cue ball has to be at a pretty good angle to do this. Just like that. So you can shoot that over and over and over again. There's limitations on it though. Obviously this shot right here, you cannot force that one in that is impossible but that might be the thumbnail so I can get more clicks who knows uh, that was a pretty cool shot but this shot right here collapsing through the point very useful uh, and can deter some people from trying to cut this all the way down the table okay so this next one is a bank shot uh, I'm going to use a bank pool analogy, but this can obviously be an in-game analogy. Just think of that ball as the eight ball, uh, and this is your last solid. Uh, so in bank pool, obviously eight ball, you don't want to make the eight ball, and the three ball doesn't really go anywhere, unless you try the insane cut over there, which will almost never work. Uh, or this bank into that bottom corner is also much more difficult than the shot I'm about to show you. Well, the rules of bank pull, if you're looking at this from a bank pull perspective, is this ball must bank cleanly, meaning it does not contact another ball on the way to the pocket. Before it hits the rail, after it hits the rail, it cannot contact another ball. Cue ball can, but this ball cannot. So we cannot two rail bank that into that two ball. But we are going to do a similar shot to what I just showed you. We're going to hit it into this rail, gonna come into this rail, reverse, come back this direction, and then straight into this pocket. Uh, and it's all about adding left spin. That's what happens if you shoot it with center ball. So center ball, you're always gonna come up too short. Now with a ton of left spin, it's gonna look like this. Just like that. We made it, but it cut over to the right side. So you might want to add a little bit less. Hardest part is finding where to aim. Because if you go too wide, it's going to end up short like then. But if you go too short, it's going to end up going wide. And that would actually be a good shot in bank pool. But you have to call the pocket. Uh, so you have to find that healthy middle with spin and aim. I cannot tell you exactly where to aim because every table banks differently, but it's usually around the half diamond mark. Somewhere around there usually uh, works, but that is called a three rail reverse bank shot. Uh, so that would be a good one to learn. Usually uh, all decent pool players uh, know how to shoot that one. Uh, well, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next quote unquote impossible shot will be this one. So we're playing a nine ball. Uh, this will be more realistic. Play nine ball. Layout looks something like this, roughly. So we are hooked by the corner. Cannot get to the six ball. Cannot kick at it cannot go two rails at it. So we're stuck with something 
like that if you want to kick. I don't know why in the world you would try to shoot that. Uh, but the shot I'm about to show you is actually much easier and much more useful. And no, it is not hitting off of that point and trying to go over there. Although that may be plausible in some sense, like that's just, see that was kind of close, but that is like insanely hard to judge. Uh, so we're just going to shoot basic mass A shot. So see, first try we make it. So it's just elevating your cue up. Whenever you're stuck in a situation, just elevate your cue. Uh, especially if it's that easy of a pot. Like it, it, it cannot be more easier. So all you have to do to master this shot is just practice it over and over and over again. Just set it up. There's not a lot, not a lot of elevation needed. Not a lot of speed needed. It's about a medium hit. Uh, remember we're curving to the left. So we're adding bottom left spin. Uh, if I had to put a degree mark on the elevation, it's not enough to hit my fan. So it's about 40, 45 degrees, I'd have to say, of elevation. So just keep all that in mind, bottom left spin, or bottom and then whatever direction you're trying to curve the skew ball. Uh, and then you can easily get past all these uh, little corner hooks like that. Okay, so this next one is around the same theme. Say, our cue ball is stuck in here. We cannot kick. Uh, mass say, let's just say we don't want to. I don't really see a reason why not to. Uh, if you want to mass say again, it'd be harder this time because of that seven ball. Uh, so this might be a valuable shot to learn. So we are going to use this other point to our advantage. So you see how if we hit that point, our cue ball goes down there. Where we're going to use that just to make the six ball. So I cannot tell you like exactly where to aim because the point is such a hard place to judge. Uh, like honestly, this shot is not going to work half the time. Like if I'm just going to be straight up with you, it's not. I'm not here to tell you that this is going to work every time. Uh, but if you're ever stuck, see one and three. That's about a good percentage to put it at. One and three. So I'm, I shot it three times, I made it once. Um, probably not gonna make it this time. See, it's just such a difficult shot to judge, but it's such a great one to know. Uh, and there is a little bit of spin needed on this shot. We're putting a little bit of uh, top spin. Obviously you don't wanna aim too far into the point because you'll just bounce around like that. But if you aim too far to the outside of the point, you're, you're going the complete opposite direction. Although that may work. Uh, but if you're trying to just go straight along this rail, that might be the best option. You gotta aim somewhere in the middle of it, enough to bring it back towards you, but not enough to bring it out that way. Uh, although that two rail shot actually looks pretty good. That actually looks like a pretty good option. Uh, that two rail shot right there looks pretty pretty simple. Uh, that's aiming more to the outside of the pocket. So I just discovered a new uh, quote unquote impossible shot that will help you. Another uh, little tip that might help you is just a simple concept when it comes to these. This is an insanely tough shot. I don't even know if you can see this nine ball. Uh, but imagine there's a ball over the corner pocket. I'm, I'm, don't imagine that. Let's just let's just look at the concept of this real quick. So cue ball is trapped there. Say we're trying to hit a ball down here or something. Uh, cue ball can actually jump over those if you just elevate your cue up. So that's all I'm trying to show you. Uh, I'm not trying to show you a specific shot, but just that. This cue ball is physically able to jump over this. Just if you elevate, add a little bit of topspin. It's also possible to jump it just off of a plain rail. Just like so. I'm going to try to do a little trick shot. Whoops. Try, I haven't done this in a while, uh, but it's a good demonstration if I can get it. 
There it is. So you see, pop it up and catch it. Uh, so that can work with regular shots too. So that was a, a bit better one. Uh, but that cue ball is able to be popped up off of a rail if you need to. All right, so that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you can click the subscribe button, then the bell icon right next to it. That will just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. We are so, so close to 80,000 subscribers. Uh, we might hit it by the time this video comes out, but if we don't, I really, really urge you, help me out, click that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100,000 very soon. Uh, so help your main man out with some subscribers. Uh, tell your friends about the channel. Make sure you share the channel with your friends. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.